All right, guys, so take a look at this bike. Wow, that one is pretty wild. This is a R1250RT. Pretty wild bike. Look at how big it is. <laughs> this thing is huge. Actually, just came off of that one. That one's pretty wild. That's the, what was that? That was the R18. This is completely different. Not really even the same type of bike. Oh, let's see. All right, wow, this thing is wild. <laughs> All right, so to turn it on, press the button there, pull on the clutch. Ooh, look, you have a little uh, like advertisement coming. <laughs> All right, and take a look at that. We started it in gear. Let's see if I can get used to these gears. Oh, look at that, big old neutral. All right, so I'm gonna actually Tighten up my helmet strap just a little bit. Since we're going on the freeway. <laughs> These are pretty short rides. I have this little route kind of around here. This is the second round. Take a look at this. This actually has an adjustable windscreen. Look at that. Look at how high it goes. That's pretty nice. So I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it kind of in the lowest. All right, so uh first kind of complaint is i'm almost too big for this bike i'm six foot four 230 pounds and my knee kind of hits right in the tank you kind of have this weird engine that's kind of laid sideways that you see on a lot of your bmws this one's kind of covered up with the shields like the deflectors so you don't really see it all right so here we go see if i can take this one out Ooh, pretty comfy. Ooh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Get used to this bike. <laughs> Ooh, this one's geared a lot lower than the R18. Uh, this is this is third gear already. All right. Oh, that's kind of weird. I kind of hear a like a whistle. I don't know where that's coming from. That's pretty wild. Wow, so this one is super smooth. Look at the suspension on this, just kind of jumping up and down. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like you're riding on a pillow. Completely different than the last one. <laughs> uh, the last one was really rough. All right, here we go. Uh, pretty big friction zone. interesting sound to this one all right i'm gonna put the windscreen all the way up wow that's weird <laughs> it's like it's like uh, i have a little a little like a little ring that i'm looking through like a little u it makes it like a little u and i'm looking right through the u blocks a lot of the wind almost all the wind with it all the way up it's uh, really interesting has kind of a kind of a slightly forward stance, but not too forward. Pretty upright, almost uh, almost completely upright, just slightly forward. A oh, really big friction zone. So once you start engaging the uh, the clutch, uh, you have to let it out like two inches, two and a half inches before you're completely out. Uh, the, the steering is kind of interesting going around these corners. It almost seems like it, it's kind of floating back and forth. Like it's not real solid in the corners, but it's not really jumping around because the suspension is just super smooth. All right, so I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. It's amazing what that windscreen does bringing it all the way up. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's pretty wild. All right, so we're gonna turn on the highway. All right. Pretty nice, ooh, back brakes are really nice, really nice, really easy to shift. Barely have to touch the shifter. And I'm sure on this bike, it's probably geared to where you get most of your 
the torque at higher RPM. I'm just kind of taking it easy. But pretty nice. So let's see if we can get it up to like 65. 65, not too bad. Pretty smooth. Feeling pretty good. It's weird, the, it's, it, the, the steering seems really touchy. Like I can just barely move, I just barely touch the steering and it moves back and forth. <laughs> it's super sensitive. But yeah, it absorbs all the bumps. Oh yeah, well, some of the bigger bumps, maybe not so much more on the really big bumps. But yeah, pretty nice. The seat's pretty firm. Not really too much buzziness in the handlebars, just a little bit maybe. But not too much. All right, let me get over here. Right behind another biker. <laughs> He's on another BMW too. But look at how big this is. It just has a really big appearance. But uh, they said this year, the 2021 actually has a new upgraded display. Seems a little bit top heavy, I guess. Because you have a whole bunch of stuff up here. And the mirrors are kind of interesting. It almost seems like on the mirrors, they probably could have, um, probably could have used, you know, kind of more of a, uh, more of a curvature where you can kind of make it expand a little bit where you can kind of, it almost seems like just regular glass. Like it's not like a regular mirror that makes things look smaller. <laughs> uh, I gotta get used to this clutch. This clutch is like never ending. It's like huge friction zone. <laughs> That's kind of the craziest thing. Oh, this is this is one bike that just kind of sways back and forth, like by itself, which is weird. I've never had any bike kind of kind of sway back and forth like that. Back brakes are really super nice. I think if you got used to this, it'd be really nimble and maneuverable. It's just that I'm not used to I'm not used to the front end being so responsive. It's just pretty wild to have the front end so responsive. And I found a pretty good spot for my windscreen where I could see over it pretty good, and I'm getting virtually no wind. Uh, which is not really a good thing since it's like 100 degrees out here. <laughs> it is like bacon. It is super hot today. <sighs> Where it's, I don't know. I guess you could lower it down a little bit. And oh, well, this one's kind of nice because you have actually left and right indicators. And the last one I was on, it looked like uh, you almost had like the hazards on because you just have one. I could probably do this curve in second gear. These gears are geared so low. All right, let's see what this thing has. Pretty good, pretty good. Pretty peppy. It seems like there's not a lot of power at lower RPM like you'd see like on your cruisers, like your Harley Davidsons. It almost seems like yeah, you can actually go all the way up to like 8,000, 9,000 RPM on this. So I'm thinking most of your power is probably at the higher end. Or if you get on uh, some of your other bikes like Harleys, it has a lot more power at the low end. It is super hot sitting here at the stoplight in my leathers. Seat's pretty comfortable. Oh, the clutch. The clutch and the steering, completely different than any bike that I've ever been on. It almost just wants to fall into the corners because it's so responsive as far as the corners. It's pretty wild. You know, some of your Harley Davidsons are kind of like that where they'll turn a little bit easier because of uh, 
because they're a little bit top heavy, this one just seems a little bit different to where it almost, uh, it almost has some kind of an assist that kind of drops it into the corners or something, which is pretty wild. Uh, the muffler has a completely different sound. Interesting, interesting sound to this bike. I'm gonna take you on a tour of BMW here, kind of around the parking lot. Oh, it looks like they're actually have a forklift over there. All right, so slow speed maneuvers, pretty good. Not too bad. I can I can go really pretty slow on this thing and it's pretty stable. So it's not too bad at all. So let me back it up a little bit here. And then we'll park it right where it was. This is a pretty cool bike. Completely different than your Harley Davidson. <laughs> Really pretty high stance too. Pretty high, which is pretty wild. Kickstand is kind of interesting. Wow. And then to power off, you just hit the button. Wow. So there you go. <laughs> I have to keep looking at the, at the little thing. This is actually an R1250RT. <laughs> so many letters with BMWs. That's a pretty awesome bike. All right, guys, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.